hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far uh, we have discussed some basic introductory concepts related to communication systems and the previous uh, uh, previously we just discussed uh, about uh, the communication channels and in general the wired communication mode or the uh, channels based on guided propagation uh, mode so in this video we are going to discuss about the communication channels based on free propagation okay free space which is basically it is called as wireless communication method so here um, before we discuss the wireless communication method uh, we should discuss uh, a little bit about uh, electromagnetic waves okay because in the whole communication process it involves uh, converting the information which is in non-electrical form into electrical form with the help of input transducer and then uh, in the transmitter the modulator amplifier and other circuitry along with the antenna they convert it into electromagnetic waves and then the channel or the medium it can uh, be wired or wireless form it transmits or it serves as the connecting link between the transmitter and the receiver and then the receiver uh, consisting of the demodulator which extracts the original signal and then the output transducer converts it into electric uh, into the original non-electrical form so here um, electromagnetic waves are used in communication systems all communication systems of different frequency range as per the requirement be it wired or wireless form for transmission and reception so electromagnetic waves uh, basically consist of vibrating uh, electric and magnetic fields in mutually perpendicular directions so we can visualize it in this way uh, the three coordinate axis where x-axis is the electric field y-axis is the magnetic field and z-axis is the direction of propagation of the electromagnetic wave now the whole uh, electromagnetic waves uh, the, all of the electromagnetic waves they can be divided on the basis of the wavelength or frequency so this categorization gives us the electromagnetic spectrum so here we have the different categories of electromagnetic waves their frequency range and wavelength range again if we uh, analyze it in terms of frequencies this will be the categorization of the electromagnetic wave now in the communication channel which serves as the connecting link between the transmitter and the receiver in wired communication uh, wired based communication channels there is a physical connection between the transmitter and the receiver it can be a twisted pair cable it can be a coaxial cable and it can or it can be optical fiber and uh, there are various uh, characteristics which are taken into consideration for the selection of a communication channel but in free propagation the channels based on free propagation or the wireless communication method there is no such wired connection there is no physical or direct connection between uh, any cabling or anything like that between the transmitter and the receiver so there are various ways in which we can achieve this and all of it is achieved by the utilization of the various frequency range of the electromagnetic spectrum okay where the free space is used as the medium of propagation between the transmitter and the receiver so commonly used wireless communication modes we'll discuss there are other methods also so we'll discuss the commonly used methods which is tv and radio broadcast channels satellite channels satellite communication which is called mobile channels mobile communication and radar communication now i have already uh, uh, have playlists related to television engineering satellite communications and radar systems engineering so you can check out uh, these three playlists 
uh, I will be starting a, a separate uh, whole series on mobile communication some uh, later on but these three playlists uh, I have okay you can check out these three playlists okay television engineering satellite communication and radar systems and engineering for more uh, information okay here I will just keep it short okay so first is television and radio broadcast so radio as we all know is the first uh, form of wireless service which was used so TV and radio they are examples of simplex communication system where the communication is only one way unidirectional okay where from the TV station or from the radio station the information is transmitted directly to the television set or the radio set and it the information transfer is a cannot happen in the reverse direction okay the radio set uh, set cannot communicate with the tv station or the uh, the television set cannot communicate with the tv station or the radio set cannot communicate with the tv station so it is this simplex method so this is the tv and radio broadcast then we have satellite based communication where communication takes place between two earth stations okay the transmitting earth station and the receiving earth station which serve as the connecting link between different end user devices okay here this satellite and the earth station they serve as the connecting link so the electromagnetic waves they are used as carrier signals which carry the information it can be in whichever form audio video numbers alphabets text whatever it is so the ground station the transmitting and the receiving ground station and the satellite they serve as the connecting link then we have is the mobile communication so in mobile communication the two end user devices okay the two end user devices which can be anything any device they are free to be moving with respect to each other whereas in all other communication methods it has to be stationary so mobile communication facilitates that where the wireless communication between two end user devices is possible even when they are moving with respect to each other and hence the name mobile communications okay so here there is a basic format of a mobile communication where the information is transmitted from the sender to the receiver through multiple uh, stations and uh, the switching center uh, the switching office serves as the connecting link which is also connected to the main public telephone system so we'll discuss in detail about mobile communications when i'll make a playlist on it here just you understand in a, a simple way uh, what mobile communications is and then we have radar uh, communication a radar system which is basically radio detection and ranging so this is basically used for uh, the detection or locating objects uh, at long distances which uh, exceed the capacity of human vision okay so this also consists of the same transmitting receiving uh, um, blocks okay and an antenna which transmits radio uh, electromagnetic signals in the radio frequency range which upon striking any object in space gets re-radiated and the time of propagation of the signal gives us the location of the object in space and various other um, parameters are also determined such as elevation azimuthal angle and all that okay so this is the basic concept of radar so these are the four main uh, wireless communication methods that are used apart from that there are other wireless communication technologies also such as Wi-Fi GPS Bluetooth infrared communication methods uh, RFID radio frequency identification Zigbee so these are the other wireless communication techniques so I will be discussing them in detail uh, in uh, the wireless communication section uh, where we will be discussing all these things in detail so here I just wanted to just uh, get you acquainted with all these things in a simple and short way okay so here we have discussed the wireless communication methods okay the wireless communication methods channels based on free propagation 
okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much